please, 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 please. Oh, that's really zoomed in. Please. You're funny. Please. Okay, we'll have a staring contest. Are you ready? Set, stare at me. <laughs> no, I blinked. <laughs> you win. Your eyes are not physically ready for what I am about to show you. The caption is, what's more red, my sunburn, my speedo, or your face? Oh my god. Darren and Chris, practically nude. Let me tell you all kinds of online articles have already came out about it. It's incredible. I feel like we're being punked. I feel like any moment Ashton Kutcher is going to walk out and be like, gotcha. And it's going to be deleted forever. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe it exists. I can't believe it's real. He Instagrammed it. He tweeted it. Like, what the hell? Also, I'm like super proud because like Darren's like proud of his body. Yeah, I know. I'm a freak. But guys, we have that, and then we have him in the Speedo, actually in the Speedo. So like, as Shona said, if you put two and two together. Anyways, yay! My cousin's on his way to come get me, and then I have to go to work. Oh my god, I can't believe we have a basically nude Darren Chris. I mean, technically he is nude in that photo. He's just covering himself. I just wish we could see his booty. Anyways. This is probably way too long and way too much info for me, so I'm gonna go for now. Voice messaging Tamala tonight. Um, yeah, I've missed her, so it's good to like be able to hear her voice and talk to her. And yeah, I'm sitting here watching some YouTube and just relaxing. Um, yeah, work was crazy but fun tonight. Um, I worked with Peggy and Emily and Danielle and those are really the people that was basically here with me all night and so that was a lot of fun and Nancy was our closer and I love her so that was fun but yeah that's basically about it for now and yeah. adulting today woke up because um it was time to get up and the trap that i set in my room to catch the mouse it caught it but the mouse was still squirming so it was still like half alive so i had to with a half alive mouse pick up the opposite end of the trap throw it in a bag run through the house outside dump it on the ground and because i'm terrified of mouse traps alone um, and I had to basically step on the mouse while half his head was in the trap until it officially killed him. Then I had to like push him out of the trap. Um, then I had to put the dead mouse back into the bag and dump it in the trash. I'm over adulting today. That was a little too much for me. My body can't handle this. Got ready real quick. Now I'm just waiting on mama to get home. We're gonna go eat. Go buy me a pair of earrings that I meant to buy last week and go maybe to a yard sale or two and then have work later. Yay! Question to me this week was um, 
what movie represents my life or what movie do I feel most connected with? Um, I would have to go with the first thing I thought of when I heard her question was Fox and the Hound. And that's because it's kind of sad, but all throughout my life, I've had best friends. And I know that they would be there for me no matter what, but they've all turned on me. And now it makes me wonder if they would be there. But I know if times were really, really tough and I needed them, they would. You know what I mean? So, like, I feel like I connect with Todd a lot from that movie. Um, He was the fox. And, yeah. I don't know. I just felt really connected to that movie. And I know it's crazy because it's a little cartoon. But it's one that's always stuck with me throughout the years. Probably because I'm watching The Amazing Race. My question to Carlene is, which one will you choose? Option A, you go to a remote island. And it takes a really long time to get there. But you get to meet Connor Franta. Option B, you take a much shorter route and you wind up at VidCon with a free pass to meet anyone you want. Which option do you choose?